Welcome back to the Evolution Pod Club. I am your host, Jackie Seiden. Sometimes you are holding your alignment hostage and you don't even know you're doing it. When you dig your heels in because you'd rather be right about a person or a situation than seek a higher perspective, then what you are doing is you are keeping feeling good further from you. When it's more important to you to make the conditions wrong, you keep your alignment from you. As a matter of fact, when you hold tightly to any problem, you are holding yourself further from the solution. The solution can only come to you when you are in a neutral place. The answer that you're searching for, the true answer, okay? The answer that is based in love, the answer that will lead to an outcome so unexpected that you won't have to deal with the same problem again and again, can only come to you when you shift out of the place of needing to be right. Let go of that, okay? It doesn't matter anyway. It's just your ego wanting to take the win. But what does the win get you? Momentary satisfaction. We assure you that the satisfaction will be short-lived because a new problem will pop up right in its place and it will activate more negative emotions. And then you keep yourself in a cycle of proving yourself right, woohoo, and then having a new and similar issue and getting worked up all over again, boo. Over and over, rinse and repeat. So in order to break this cycle that most of humanity is in currently, you have to let go of what it means to be quote unquote wrong. What does it cost you to say, I'm sorry? What does it cost you to offer up love and compassion to someone? What does it cost you to listen? Here's the funny thing about listening, okay? Listening and offering compassion, what's funny about that is that the rightness you're fighting for so hard will usually be handed easily over to you from the other person when you are listening and offering compassion. But you'll find in that moment, you don't need it. You don't need the acknowledgement. You'll receive it because in that moment, it will authentically be offered from a place of connection and will feel good because deep connection is being achieved. But that's all that's really happening here. The truth is you don't need anything. You certainly don't need to be right. You need nothing. You really don't. All you need to have your exploration in this moment, you have, you have it all. You're here, are you not? Are you dressed? I mean, you might not be dressed, but if you wanted to get dressed, could you get dressed? Do you have enough air to breathe? Do you have food available to you or a drink of water? So what's stopping you in this moment from feeling good? Only one thing, your thoughts, that's it. Your thoughts are dictating your emotions in each and every moment. And what's leading your thoughts? Well, your beliefs. So what are your beliefs? Do you have lots of rules about the world and the way it should be? Do you have ideas of how you think people should be around you? Or are you open? Do you accept that no two people are the same? Do you understand that no two belief systems are the same? Can you roll with life? Can you roll with this moment you're currently in? Because that's really all there is. And that's all there ever is. Whatever you're striving for in the future is theoretical and has nothing to do with how you feel right now. Don't look to your conditions to tell you how to feel. And don't look to future conditions that you will perceive may be coming down the pike to tell you how to feel. Adjust your beliefs that anything needs to be a certain way for you to feel good. Everything is exactly perfect as it is right in this moment. And if you are in pain or you are sick, then you know that you are on your soul's journey, leading you to more growth and expansion, which was your soul's intention in this life. Your soul's truest, biggest, most important intention. You know you're in the becoming. You know you are being led to some new awakening, some deeper understanding of the love being you truly are to clarity. And that's why you're here. You can know that you're fulfilling your soul's purpose 
And that even though this moment may or may not feel long, you may feel tired, just remember it's a mere flash in your existence. And if you didn't have anything to learn, you wouldn't have any existence at all. So embrace it all. Even the shit 